Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. I've been talking to you about what the instruction Jesus gave, you know. He says we should go into all the world and preach the gospel. Now, notice something that Jesus you know, was saying. He was talking to his disciples. And then he said, you go into all the world and preach the gospel. Then he says, anyone who believes you and is baptized shall be saved. Anyone who doesn't believe you shall be damned. Now, I said, the baptism he was talking about there was not water baptism. It was a Holy Ghost baptism. And then I, I went on to say, you know, taking from what John, John's teaching, you know, John was talking to the Pharisees, and actually he was reprimanding them in Matthew chapter 3. And he was telling them, who, who wanted you to flee from the wrath to come? Meaning there was a wrath coming, and it was coming definitely for some people. And, and somehow John was asking them, why are you running away from the wrath to come? See, then he said, I challenge you to bring forth fruit that is worthy of repentance. And then he told them, he says, don't think that you will say Abraham is our father. For, because actually John meant, instead of you, God will raise up stones for Abraham. Then he said something very striking. He says, now the axe is laid to the root. Now why did he use that idiom? Why did he say the axe is laid to the root? God is getting to the root of the matter, to your foundation. Then he says, any tree, see, he says, that's verse 10. He says, therefore, every tree which bringeth forth not, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Notice that. Then he said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Now that's what he said. Notice what he said then. Whose fan? Watch this. Don't, don't miss this part. This is John preaching now. Whose fan? That's Jesus. Jesus has a fan. Is in his hand. And he will thoroughly he will, Jesus will thoroughly purge his floor. Now, the floor is where? The floor is where you gather all your harvest. See? Where you gather your harvest. That's the floor. Then John says he has a fan in his hand. He will thoroughly purge his floor. Thoroughly. Take note of that word. Then he says, And gather his wheat into his garner. But he will burn off the shaft with unquenchable fire. Did you see that? The, when he thoroughly purges the floor, he gathers the wheat to the garner. Then what is left is going to be what? The shaft. He will gather the wheat to the garner. That's Holy Ghost baptism. The shaft, he will burn them with unquenchable fire. So Jesus' two baptisms are Holy Ghost baptism and fire baptism. That's all for Jesus. See? Now, that's why the people who reject Jesus, at the end of the day, they will receive the baptism of fire. Now, I know this term has been used for so long without understanding. And, you know, sometimes because something has been used for so long, you tend to believe it. Now, when you hear something different, ah, no, but this is the truth. He couldn't baptize us with the Holy Ghost and baptize us with fire. Jesus himself never referred to fire baptism to his disciples. Rather, when he was living, he told them, you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. See, that's all he said. That's all he said. Praise God. Now, let's, let's, let's go back to Mark. Mark chapter 17. I was showing you something there. Mark chapter 16. Now look at verse 17. Now remember Jesus was talking to his disciples. And then he said, And these signs shall follow them that believe. So he's talking to his disciples. And he said, You go out into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Anyone who believes and is baptized shall be saved. The Holy Ghost is the one that does the baptism. No man can baptize you. Yeah. No man can baptize you. If everybody likes, they should lay hands on you. If the Holy Ghost doesn't baptize you, forget it. You are not saved. 
You know why 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 did why why did God orchestrate it this way? That's what John meant when he said he would thoroughly purge his flow. So he knows those that are his. Are there, are there those that are not his? Yeah, of course there are those that are not his. Study the scriptures. There are those whose names are not written in the book of life. They are here in this world with you. They are like the mixed multitude that came out from Egypt with the children of Israel. See, so, so Jesus came as a separating factor, see. Now, he went on to say to those he's sending out, his disciples, he said, this is how you will know those that have believed. Because the Holy Ghost baptism is not seen with the physical eyes. We don't know if you've been baptized or not. See, but you see, there are certain things that will begin to happen in your life that will make everyone who is a believer know that something has happened in your life, including you. I'm going to continue from here to Mona. Remember, our program is coming up on the 7th and 8th of September. Mark those dates down and plan to attend. Praise God. Have a beautiful day today. God bless you. Bye-bye.